Hello guys and gals, and welcome to my review of Kirby's 20th Anniversary for the Nintendo Wii. Now as you could tell here, Kirby has pretty much had a tremendous impact on my life as a gamer. Um, Kirby basically was the first like love of, of, of any gaming franchise ever for me. Uh, I, I could never stop playing Kirby, it was just something that kind of stuck with me my entire life. Um, I started back in like 94-ish or whatever it came out, uh, Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy, and then right after about a year or so came Kirby's Dream Land 2. And like, these two games alone, while short and simplistic in nature, are probably my favorite games of all time, just because of that, and just because of all the nostalgia and all the great memories I've had playing these over and over and over and never getting tired of that. I find it very hard in this day and age to find games where I'm going to keep playing them and keep getting enjoyment out of them every time. Somehow these have magically done it. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So as you can see here, like I said, Kirby's had a huge impact on me. Uh, I love Kirby. I think it's a fantastic franchise. Uh, I love Kirby and Meta Knight, King DDD, I love them all, the Wild Ds and Dudes. But this finally came out to basically honor Kirby's 20th. And a lot of people want to know, is it good? Is it better than the Mario one that came out not too long ago that was pretty not so great? Well, short answer is yes. It's it's fantastic, honestly. I, I, I don't have any complaints. Uh, you can shut this off now. No, I'm just kidding. But, um... In all seriousness, this is a, a fantastic, fantastic um, tribute to Kirby. I don't want to rip the box here, folks. Come on. Okay. So as you can see right off the bat, the cover is really nice. There's a lot of stuff going on. But what's really, really cool is what comes in the actual uh, everything, the package. Now, the game itself comes with six of uh, the classic Kirby games. Uh, Dream Land 1, Dream Land 2, which were on the Game Boy, and they actually put them on the Wii, which is really nice. I love that, like... I can't even put into words how great that is. Um, Kirby Superstar for the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, Kirby 64. And there's two other ones I'm forgetting. <laughs> uh, what is offhand? Here it is. Hey. Kirby's Dreamline 3 for the Super Nintendo. And Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Now, I won't lie when I say I have all these games already, but. You know, just to know that it's on a collection with all the fixes and whatnot, it, it's a fantastic thing. Now, here's the best part before I even begin to talk about everything else that goes within this. This actually has, um, yeah, this is the actual cover. This has GameCube support, so if you were like, well, I don't want to play with the, uh, the Nunchuck or the uh, Class Controller Pro, this has GameCube support. It's awesome. That's what I've been rocking. I'm not even going to lie about it. Um, yeah, so this is great. Look at that cover. It's really nice. Um, two discs, basically, if you could see that, really nice discs. Um, this one is actually a soundtrack that is all of the famous, you know, uh, music of the of the whole franchise. There's a whole bunch of picked music from all the games, including ones that I don't, I, I believe, are not even in the collection uh, disc. Um, there's just so much to even to, to to even begin. First off, there's a history section on here besides the games that goes over basically things that happened uh, those years in which those games came out or in between when they didn't come out. And some of that stuff's kind of like, eh, but I mean, if you're like me, you're kind of like, wow, like I, I remember a lot of this stuff. But what's really cool is there's even little hidden things like trailers. Um, there's orchestras that play the music from the games, which is, I, I don't even know how to put in the words. But this is probably one of the greatest reasons to even pick this up. This, my friends, is the Kirby's 20th Anniversary Art Book. And it goes above and beyond. Oh, it's a celebration book. Okay, fair enough. It goes above and beyond. First off, uh, it's not just even concept art and, and regular art and, and all that stuff in general. It's full in depth history. You know, it's it's all these little tidbits that you might have not n known about or any of that stuff. It's, it's fantastic. Like, I'm not even joking. And they go through, like, literally every single game. Now, while some of them have more detail than others, it's just cool to see that they're actually, you know, tipping their hat to the games that weren't in the collection, which I think is the right thing to do if you're celebrating 20 years. <coughs> I'm coughing here. Anyways, so, yeah, like, it's really cool. So they have, like, 
for instance, I want to show you guys this. This is really sweet, actually. Like, they even have pictures of, like, all of the characters, like, the side characters that showed up and everything. Um, there's, where is it? There's even, like, Japanese, like, pop art and stuff from, like, I I'm assuming magazines, like, a Famatsu or something. Um, there's, you know, like, how they design stages and stuff. There's just so much, like, to this collection. It's incredible. They, they really went above and beyond everything they could to, um, to really showcase Kirby's, you know, 20 years of gaming. It's weird, because, like, I remember being, you know, four or five or so and playing this game and just, like I was saying before, you know, uh, just completely falling in love with it. And, and you know, like, over the years, you know, I, I've tried my best to keep up with the series. I, I won't lie when I say I don't own every game, but most of the games I own now are, you know, I don't know where the hell they are, to be honest. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's just insane. I have a, I actually was digging this out the other day. It might not be important to some of you, but, like, to just find this the other day was crazy. It's the Kirby's Dream Land 2 uh, little uh, guidebook thing. This thing was an absolute pain in the butt to find. I had to, like, go into, like, a draw that I haven't been in in a long time. And, like, it was like it was like Indiana Jones or something. It was, like, cobweb. It was awful. I, I felt ashamed to even, like, leave it in there. But yeah, I mean, it's 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 a great series. Kirby is just, it's one of those series that like, you look at it and you go, oh yeah, it's cute. And you know, you, maybe you did grow up and you're like, all right, it was cool when I was a kid. But it's, it's one of those series that like, the simplicity of the series is why it's so dang good. You know, even like the, the cute aesthetics aside and whatnot, it's just, it's just a simple and fun game that everybody can play. You know, you suck in powers, you absorb them, you use the powers. Some games you fight with sidekicks. Uh, you know, it's just all different types of things going on. And, and that's really why Kirby's always stuck with me personally. Um, and, and why Kirby will probably never go anywhere, uh, you know, outside my heart. So, yeah, pretty much I'm going to be playing Kirby to the day I peace. And, yeah, um, so listen, definitely check this out. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to not only review this game, but also discuss, you know, just everything about Kirby that, that I know and love. Um, you really need to check this out. It's 30 bucks. Uh, I'm sure I'll drop one day, but you should check this out now because this is, my friends, a fantastic collection by Nintendo. I virtually have no complaints. And if you're a smart person, you wanted to get into Kirby, or you just like Kirby, or you want a new game for your Wii, this is a no-brainer. Um, so... That's about it. Uh, take it easy, everybody. Bye. I'm going to go run to my camera now because we're old school like that.